Most traders fail, but why do they fail? Most people start out thinking that, oh yeah, trading's easy, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna crush it, I see all those people buying Lamborghinis and you know what? Smarter than that guy, I could do it. This is the reason why 95% of traders ultimately fail. They, everybody starts out here, right? Uh, they start out, you don't know anything, you don't know what you don't know, and you, they start out thinking that the goal is right over here somewhere, right? That you're just going to maybe read some books or uh, watch some videos, uh, learn a little bit, and then, yeah, I'll be able to crush it because that idiot over on Instagram, uh, that, that guy in the video, I'm a lot smarter than him. I'm gonna crush it. So you start out, you read some books, you watch some videos, and then you go out there and you try to apply it all. And then you're like, you know what? This is, this is tough. The, the, this is a lot harder than I thought that it would be. Yeah, I can't do this just by reading a book or two and, and trying to apply this stuff. And at that point, a lot of people start to leave the market and they, they give up on their dreams. But there's some people that get to this point and they're like, you know what? I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue on. So what do they do? They start to realize that the climb is a lot harder than they thought. They still can't see the goal, right? When you're down here, you think that the goal is somewhere over here. When you're over here, you still don't know how far the goal ultimately is. You just know that you've got further on your journey to go. You've hit this plateau and now you're starting to think that, yeah, the, this is a little harder. So well, what do you do? You start to read more books, right? You think that your next goal is going to be over here, right? So you start studying a little bit more intensely, you start watching more videos. Maybe you take somebody's course uh, at that point and you think that you're going to get to that that goal, that, that money. Yeah, well, like I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the work, right? Like I, it, it's almost not like if you were in school and you're like, you know what? Like I'm going to take this course, I'm going to ace this course and then easy street, right? But it doesn't quite work that way either. You Maybe you learn somebody else's system and that system starts to work. You start to get some momentum. You think that you're doing well, but then, well, what happens, right? If you've been around, if, you're, if you've made it past this stage, you know what happens next. That new system eventually starts to fail and you're like, well, what happened? I, I don't know. You start to reach out to the, that mentor, right? The, the, that guy from the course, maybe that, that course disappeared. Maybe that course only works in certain instances. Maybe you're a different person by the time you get over here. Maybe you started out as a single person down here. By the time you've come over here, maybe it's a year, maybe it's two years, maybe it's longer than that. And now you have a family. You have a child that you're taking care of. And the style that you had down here, the goals that you had for your trading, they all started to change somewhere along this journey. And now that system starts to fail. Now what do you do? Now you're at this plateau and now too, hey, you might start to come back over here and you, you might just quit, right? And along any one of these paths, people quit all along the way. If you're somebody that finally starts to get past this point, this is the point where if you're running a marathon, right, like an actual marathon, uh, it's the point where uh, it's called the wall. That, that point where you, you get to like mile 17, mile 18, and then all of a sudden like your legs feel like cement to the ground and you just can't lift them off the ground anymore that that's well what happens but if you're the type of person that's going to continue to persevere to push yourself to find the will to win that's when you start to realize that you know what this game is a lot more than just systems or some other somebody else's signals or any of that other stuff that's when you start to to do some of the internal work or when most people start to discover the 
the mindset component, the psychology component. They start to, to learn that here and that's when they start to build their environment. Uh, the people around them matter. What they're watching, reading, listening to, all that stuff, all that stuff matters because it's going to affect your behavior. And so what happens? You start to build that environment. You start to realize that uh, what you need to do is not just focus on making money, but that it's part, what you need to do is focus on the process. And then in focusing on the process, you're not just worried about that monetary goal anymore. You're just focused on building your system. And then that's what ultimately leads you to that bigger goal. This is the problem that traders face. They start out here. They have no idea of the journey involved, but that's not you anymore. You know that there's nine steps, 10 steps really from starting to here and finally getting to that goal. If you start out with mindset in, in mind, if you start out building your environment from back here, then that's going to shortcut your path to that goal. That's what I want to help you with. That's why I built the Trader's Mind Chat room. That's why I have mentoring services of my own where we're not just talking about how you could build your system, although that, that's one part of it, but talking about the entire mindset, talking about your environment, talking about risk management, position sizing, how strategies can be impacted by lifestyle and vice versa and planning ahead for those things, building a business model for your trading. That's what it takes to uh, go from your goals from over here to the goal over here and how it's going to change along the way. That's why I often say that wealth is a journey. I would love to hear what your thoughts on this are. What is wealth to you? Drop it down in the comments below. I read every single one of them. I want to say thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. And I'd love to be a part of your journey and help you get from where you start, wherever you start from, to where it is that you ultimately want to go. Take care. Much love. Peace out.